Let's go ahead and equip the bat right away. Guys, what is up? My name's JMT. That's a different intro today. Ah. <laughs> I literally just woke up from a fat nap. We love naps over here. Today, we're going to be using the new baseball bat. A lot of people wanted to see the baseball bat. So let's go ahead and use this thing. The metal bat. What perk would work best for this metal bat? Slows the slasher and heals a small amount of health. I don't want to use adrenaline because this gear is all about, you know, sticking with the slasher. Maybe we can go with back pocket. We'll go with back pocket for now because I already know we're going to be in intermission here as I'm looking through everything. So I don't want to go with adrenaline. We're going to stick with back pocket for now. Probably not the best gear recharge perk, but I like back pocket because it silences our footsteps. For those that are new here, if you haven't seen the update video that I did covering the bat and how to actually get the bat, which once we get into the lobby, I'll show you guys how to get it. I don't want to make it a separate video because it's not that hard to get the bat. You got to walk to a tree and pick it up. You, there's no need to make a video on it, but we'll include it inside of this video for those who somehow can't find it still. Basically what this metal bat does is you become the scout. I pretty much won't be using this gear unless I actually encounter the slasher himself. But basically what this bat does is when the slasher gets near you, you can just bonk him with this bat and then he will get dizzy for a bit. Mans will become slowed and you gain a little bit of health if you are injured, that is. So it kind of works really well right when you get hit by the slasher. You can bonk him, gain a little bit of health, and since the slasher hits you, you got a small amount of speed boost to try to get away from him, even when he's in that slowed state. I don't even know where he... I'm actually trying to hunt the slasher right now. Where is he? Oh, lights are breaking over here. There he is. Oh gosh, Xenozil himself. So let's see how this thing actually works. I'm gonna have him hit me. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hit you. No, wait. Yeah, I did. The bat doesn't give you health. Guys, I don't know why I thought the bat was going to make me a two hit. <laughs> so I have to equip a perk that makes me more than a two hit for the bat to heal me. So in order for the other portion of this metal bat to work, I actually have to use a perk that requires more than a two hit. Otherwise, it just slows the slasher, which is still cool. But like, why would I use a metal bat to slow the slasher when I could use a stun weapon that's way more efficient? Maybe because just because it gives you the healing a small amount of health on the other portion. That's why many people would use it over a stun. Perhaps I don't exactly know. Stun weapons, I think work way better in my opinion. Well, let's go ahead and equip something that gives me more than a two hit so let's just look at all the perks here and see which one would work out the best and by the way i'm looking for perks right now that are going to be increasing my health so like solar battery for example one of the best gear recharges in my opinion i like solar battery a lot i actually think we might rock with solar battery over restorative light because since we're using the bat gear i'd like to have some type of gear recharge as well since we're going to be relying on the bat and not just being a heal let's use solar battery and the bat and see how that works but while we're in the lobby here guys if you really want to know where the metal bat is it's not that difficult come follow me walk over here to this tree you see where oatmeal is there's a bat right here you pick it up donk there you go, metal bat gear. So as we go into the next match here, let's actually use the metal bat. I'm going to be taking a hit this time because I want the metal bat to heal me. It says it heals a small portion of health. So I'm going to assume that it's going to heal 0.5 of a hit, which means half a health. It's kind of going to be like drinking the Merch's potion in the original brew. You only gain half a health. 0.5. I'm guessing that's how the metal bat is going to be in this scenario. All right, here we go. Metal bat time with the solar battery. This might help out quite a bit. However, our perk is going to be pretty useless as of right now until we actually use the gear with the bat recharging and the slasher in a slowed state and giving us an increased speed boost after a hit. I think we should be just fine using this type of perk. Guys, if you are using a perk that is more than a two hit, I highly suggest getting hit first and then using your bat on the slasher because you should be in a faster state um, to get away from him. Because right after you get hit from a slasher, you make contact with this man's. He gives you an increased speed boost, okay? You become the flash for a second or two. If the slasher is AFK, then we can show you guys the sound of this metal bat. Where's the slasher? Did the slasher leave? I, Joy? Did you just call me Joy? That's it, Nate. Where are you? I'm not going to be using this bat on the slasher. I'm going to be using it on your forehead. Come here, boy. <laughs> the slasher left the game, so let's go ahead and load into the next match. That's what the kids call epic fail. All right, now that we're in the next match, are you kidding me? Why are we playing on the Mire map? Every freaking time we're trying to do a video, we're on the stupid Mire This is going to be so exciting. Why is everyone running like this, dude? Look at everyone. Oh, look at that. It's daytime, and the slasher doesn't know that we have eight survivors running over here. My bad, seven survivors. All of you STN nerds that are about to comment there, yeah, better luck next time.
Okay, really, dude? I can't see anything. So let's go ahead and talk about this in a theoretical basis. For those who don't know what that word means, neither do I. What have we discovered during that match? When you use the bat, you have to wait for it to cool down to be able to recharge the gear. Because right when I used the bat, it was still stacked up all the way and it doesn't go down until the effect wears off of the bat animation, I think. So then when I used my solar battery while it was in that state still, it didn't apply. So therefore I just wasted my solar battery. So in order to actually use solar battery on the metal bat, you gotta wait a little bit. So for those who are gonna be spamming a gear recharge while using the metal bat, just remember if it is activated gear recharge perk, you gotta wait till the metal bat has its little cooldown. So you guys gotta wait a little bit. We just discovered that this match. Since that's how the solar battery works for a gear recharge, let's go ahead and use a different perk for this metal bat. The supplies perk I really like to use because this has increased gear recharge and increased speed. However, this doesn't increase your health, so we won't let the slasher hit us this time to be able to use the metal bat. Kinda like the first situation in this video. Yeah, roll it back, JMT. What happened? I'm gonna have him hit me. So let's use the supplies perk, increased gear recharge and increased speed. We should be able to get away from the slasher um, after we use this bat. However, we won't be able to use the other part of this metal bat's description here. Heals a small amount of health. We are really getting the worst maps in this game, aren't we? How does someone even click that fast? All right, let's jump over these boxes. I know it's a hard task. There we go. There you go, JMT. Slasher's already here. Okay, we used the metal bat. I'm out of here. So all that did was slow the slasher. That's all it did. So our gear recharge should be increased. This thing is going up surprisingly fast. Look at how fast our gear is being recharged right now. And that's just using the supplies perk. So the metal bat must have a high gear recharge rate. Yeah, look, we already have the metal bat again. So this would work out really well in slasher chases, I think. Even when you do find a good perk combination for it, you gotta only use it when you're right next to the slasher. And half the time when I'm playing Survive the Night, my main goal is to rotate to stay away from the slasher. So I don't really want to use a gear that's gonna only be used, you know, come into effect on the gameplay when I'm right next to the man. And or girl, there's girl slashers, you already know. Lady do be packing. Wait, that's not what I meant to say. I was spamming the E button and the gear didn't activate. So out of this whole video, we used the metal bat once. <laughs> well, technically two times. You couldn't see it the first time because, you know, a Nenra. Guys, that's pretty much the metal bat, okay? Once you hit the slasher, he's going to be slowed. If you guys have seen the slasher go through barbed wire before, that's the slowness pace that the slasher has when he gets hit with the metal bat. However, a really good positive to this metal bat is that the gear recharge is insane, especially for just using supplies, which is just increased gear recharge. There are other perks to use that have, you know, way more of a gear recharge rate than just using supplies. So I'm assuming this metal bat has a high gear recharge rate. If you guys found this video helpful towards the metal bat, or if you guys enjoyed this video in general, leave a like down below and let me know in the comments what you guys liked about this video. And let me know your opinions on the metal bat as well. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for me. My name's JMT, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.